Hi, I am the messenger. Welcome to my video where I show you my fully detailed highway. The decorated part is about 2 km long. It starts at the edge of the buildable 25 tiles area, has a service interchange, suffers from a construction site and ends at the tunnel entrance. As I am building an imaginary Austrian region, this needs to be an Austrian highway. Our rural highways usually are two lanes and a hard shoulder in each direction. I built it out of the base game three lane highway and then modded and decorated it into an Austrian highway. I used intersection marking tool and probable surfaces to make it look like I want. Intersection marking tool is great. You can add your own markings, fill areas and even curves in any color to any node or segment. If you then cover the road with ploppable surfaces, this will hide the old markings and intersection marking tool will still print on the new surface. It behaves like a decal in this regard. Look at the road texture. You can see where the surfaces start. I use two mods to make traffic behave like I'm used to. I use advanced vehicle options to set every vehicle's top speed, taking care to limit all trucks to 80 or 100 km per hour and set all personal vehicles to 100 km per hour or faster. I use Traffic Manager to set a general speed limit of 130, because that's our speed limit in Austria. I also used it to ban all vehicles but emergency vehicles from the hard shoulder and to ban heavy vehicles from the innermost and fastest lane. In an attempt to encourage private cars to not file in behind the slower trucks, I activated Traffic Manager's individual driving styles and advanced traffic AI. I also set reckless driving and dynamic lane change to maximum. What I get is a pretty realistic looking highway traffic. Groups of trucks hugging the outer lane and personal cars sometimes mingling with the trucks but most of the time overtaking them. Sometimes I also get nervous lane hoppers that can't decide which lane to use. And even the occasional speedster. Do all those settings help my traffic? I don't know. I didn't stress test it. My goal was to make it look realistic. I guess that as long as all your truck traffic comfortably fits into one lane, it's a tiny bit helpful as it enables private cars to overtake. But as soon as the truck lane overloads, it is bound to fail. Now that we got the inner workings of my highway out of the way, let's move on to the fun parts of this build. This is the service interchange Schladnitz Süd, one of four planned interchanges. It connects to the southern part of the city to come Schladnitz and to my previous builds, the Old Town and the Cargo Harbor through a national road. There are also a few villages and farmland around. This is built out of the Base Games 3 lane highway and Base Games highway ramps. No special roads used. I've highlighted the segments with Move It, so you can see that all ramps connected 180 degrees. The cars don't need to turn, they are driving straight on a curved road. On-ramp traffic can join the highway and accelerate the travel speed before they merge in. Network multi-tool was really handy to build these ramps. Its connect to segments function made it easy to connect at 180 degree and build nice curves at the same time. But the real trick is to use node controller. As roads are connecting center to each other, I used node controller to offset the ramps so they are centered on the outer lane and to enlarge the nodes until the graphic glitches stop. It's quite handy to have a lane turned hard shoulder at hand when building acceleration or deceleration lane. Just lift the vehicle restrictions, draw the right markings and add decal arrows. I use Traffic Manager to restrict the options to lane change during the intersection. 
to prevent them getting in each other's way. And as soon as I saw cars on the deceleration lane overtaking trucks, I set the speed limit on the deceleration lane. Another reason why I told them where to lane switch is because I wanted to try a trick for smoother lane changes. And it works great. Cars switch lanes at nodes. One can use node controller to enlarge the nodes. Cars then have more room to change lanes, leading to more realistic looking lane changes. I used MoveIt to show how the ramps connect to the national road and to the roundabout, so you can see that the pairs of ramps connect in a single node. They are then offset with node controller until they are parallel to each other. The game doesn't like nodes too close to each other. That disrupts traffic. And cars that have to give way seem to only look at the first segment of the priority road when deciding if they are allowed to drive. A too short segment means they are basically blinded, which is bad as they have to give way. You could also let the pair of ramps merge into a two-way road before they hit the roundabout. That would also connect to a single node. But I personally don't like the look of that. I did custom street signs everywhere. All of them are custom labeled. All the distances make sense. Either on my map or for an imaginary town some 10 kilometers south of Innsbruck in Tyrol. This took way too much time. But somehow I really, really wanted to do it. As I was done with the interchange, I had a pretty long and straight piece of highway until it goes into the tunnel to play around with. A perfect chance to pick up on a great idea I have seen in a vid some years ago. That vid got me interested in detailing. It showed me that the options are near unlimited. It was a highway construction site complete with a detour rerouting both directions onto one side so the other side can get repaired. I have built the detour near and parallel to the highway at first. I used surface roads as they have no curbs so the lanes are at the same height as highway lanes. I used traffic managers lane connectors to force them to use the detour and intersection marking tool to paint the orange markings on the detour and the white markings on the original highway. Only after all those settings were done, I used Move It to move the detour on top of one direction of the highway. Once the roads are on top of the highway, it's really hard to edit them. I needed node controller to enlarge the nodes, so the graphic widgets caused by segments to close together stop. I covered everything in plotable surfaces so that only my own markings are visible and decorated everything with decals, barriers and traffic signs. As you can see, the old highway is really in need of repairs. Patches everywhere and it keeps cracking. I know it's probably unrealistic to have them all at the same time, but I had great fun while decorating all the different stages of highway construction. Starting where the old surface got removed, they are ripping up the ground, redistributing and leveling it. Some heavy machinery at work here. The dirt road in front of the workers camp is only visual. All trucks are only decoration. Here they are bringing in truck loads of gravel to spread and compact. Hot asphalt is arriving exactly on time to be spread. Thank you for staying with me until the end. I really hope you enjoyed the view. My very special thanks go to my friends Bucketbrain, 
one Jason Bradley and Greg Umoto for giving me valuable tips how to create this video and their encouraging words. In my upcoming video I want to show you the area around the highway. A small town, two villages, farms, fields, pastures, idyllic cross-country roads and the riverside.